Hi, I'm Shannon from houseimprovements.com. Today's video, I just want to show you uh, some typical um, things to look for if you happen to be changing your typical dryer uh, receptacle. So this is a 30, 30 amp receptacle. Uh, as always with any electrical, it can be dangerous. So you want to for sure check your local codes to be sure that uh, you're doing it properly. Pull any permits you need and uh, by all means, absolutely turn the breaker off before you work on any electrical. So, so this isn't, this is just a mock-up. We're not, we're not even wired to anything. So uh, there's no power here at all. So what we're dealing with is we've got your typical uh, box here in the wall for your typical dryer, residential dryer. So the case might be where maybe your dryer was hardwired before and you want to actually change it to a receptacle type cord or whatever. So you've done that, but now you've got to change also the wiring at the wall. So, so a typical receptacle for the dryer, 30 amp, you should see this L shaped uh, hole or spot for a prong here. And a, a good way to remember that is L for laundry. So it's one way to remember it because a, because a range plug will look very much like this but it doesn't have this L shaped. I believe it's a straight blade there. So, so just to keep the two straight when you're purchasing and generally the packaging will tell you if it's for your stove, for your stove or for your uh, dryer. So to get into the wiring, uh, this is just a piece of scrap wire I had. So this isn't the proper gauge. Uh, so again, you'll want to check in your, your own personal codes for your local area, what you need. Um, typically speaking, most, most dryers, uh, this is a 30 amp. So typically probably 10 gauge is what you're going to want a 10 gauge, uh, three wire. So what you're going to have or what you should find is a red, a black, a white, and a ground wire for your actual wiring in the box. And they're going to correspond to where they need to go in, inside the back of this plug to the right areas. Most of them, and the camera's not going to be able to zoom in and see this, most of them will actually have your ground and your white actually labeled right here on the back of the housing. Right there, and I, I know the camera can't see that. Uh, but another good way to look is your white should be going to this goofy shaped L shaped plug. Okay, and this is your ground. Okay, so that's one way to identify it as well. Your other two sides, your two hot leads, really doesn't matter if you put red here or black here, black here or red here. And they'll generally be marked with an X or a Y, but as far as which color you put there, as far as red or black really doesn't matter as long as you've got one under each one, okay? So again, this wire is a little lighter than what you should see. I forget what this is. It it's, uh, might only be, I don't know, it doesn't matter. This is a little lighter than you'd normally see anyways. So the important thing is get the wiring in the right way. You've, you've had the breaker off obviously before you did anything, get the wiring in the right way. Uh, and then mounting your orientating your plug in a good direction, making sure none of these wires, like especially this, this, uh, ground wire, which should also not only be attached to the plug, but should be attached back here to the box as well. Okay. So make sure that's like that. Uh, but you want to make sure that ground bare wire for sure is getting folded back out of the way where it can't contact anything else and maybe cause a short circuit. So once you had everything attached, you simply got to take some time, get these wires folded back in there without kinking them and uh, lining everything up. I don't know if these screws are actually loose enough. Yeah, I guess they are lining everything up and getting it in place, tighten your screws up and you're good to go. Uh, generally speaking, when your dryer plug plugs onto here, um, where this prong is, is where your cord's gonna come out at the end of the plug, kind of sideways. Uh, you wanna try to make sure that's directed somewhere so your cord isn't gonna end up having a big kink in it, going back to, the, to where it actually goes into the dryer. So just pay attention to that. Um, and also the, the direction of how your box is already mounted on the wall is gonna matter too, right? Because I can't, the way this box is, I couldn't put this this direction because it doesn't line up with any of the mounting holes. So, so that's the basics on dryer wiring. Uh, I don't think there's anything else I can really add to that. Uh, it's also nice to have it recessed back into the wall too, so your dryer can go tighter to the wall if it needs to, or room for ducting. So, 
So I'm going to wrap that one up. Uh, as always, please click the thumbs up button if you can on the lower corner of the, the uh, screen down here. And uh, my same old spiel I always give. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, uh, check out our Patreon campaign if you'd like. And uh, yeah, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.